Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Pixelmon series here on royal.mchub.com. If you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using my custom IP as it does directly support me. So I would greatly appreciate that. As you guys should know by now, this is a Pixelmon server. It just released on MC Hub. You need no mods to be able to hop on here, all right? No mod pack at all. You can literally just hop on, download the texture pack, and you are good to go. Be sure to play in 1.16 or higher, though, for the best playing experience. But anyways, guys, in today's episode, we, we need to level up. All right, we need to get our Pokemon up there. We need some better Pokemon. In the last episode, I thought I got some pretty good Pokemons, right? Like, we got the Snorlax level 89 right here. We have the Gyarados level 81. I thought these were some pretty solid Pokemon, but uh, I tried to fight multiple bosses in the last episode, and we got cooked every freaking time. And I've just about had it, all right? I'm done pulling up to an NPC and getting absolutely body bagged. So it is time to change that. I haven't really spent any money on this start of the world at all. It's still the first day at the time I'm recording this. Like, I almost got three full videos done in one day of playing Pixelmon. That's just how much fun I'm having. But I did spend like 5,000 gold coins um, on the first episode, but I, that was just coins left over. I haven't spent any money on this reset yet, and that that's about to change, all right? I'm going to be buying for this intro some egg crate keys. Right here, you get 50-50 eggs. You can get a shiny egg, and you can also get a legendary egg. If we get this legendary egg, I believe it's over for the comp because legendary eggs are guaranteed insane pretty much. At least I think. And then what are these? Um, a super 50-50 egg. I don't even know how to say that. Shiny legendary egg and then a shiny max legendary egg. Oh my god. I don't know, but that sounds that sounds insane. So if we do slash coin shop and go to crates, uh, one egg crate key costs 550 coins. It's pretty expensive, but... You get a guaranteed egg, so it should be expensive. Basically, in today's episode, I need to get some shiny Pokemon. All the Pokemon that I have at the moment, they're just regular Pokemon that I have caught. Just being in the wild and playing the server. But I haven't caught a shiny Pokemon yet because those are extremely rare and hard to find in the wild, obviously. But you can definitely find them. Everybody told me that whenever a shiny spawns on you, it'll put it in chat. So if you guys are looking for a shiny, make sure you're reading chat. I usually like watch a show and then I'll go out, look for Pokemon that I want. And it's kind of tough for me to read chat. So maybe I've missed some shinies in my time of being on the server just because I didn't read chat. But uh, let me go buy some gold coins real quick. We're going to drop some money in today's episode because low-key, I'm kind of addicted to Pixelmon and I don't even understand the game mode yet. I'm just having a ton of fun. And look what just came in. 9,500 premium gold coins. I don't, I'm not going to spend all of these gold coins, all right? Not, not in today's episode, not all at once, but I just bought that for future resets and stuff. Guys, the people are telling me Shiny is literally cosmetic. You're, you're not serious. Someone literally told me on the server that getting a shiny just makes everything better. And then they said only legendaries do that. So it looks like, nah, I, I need some legendary eggs. All right. All right. At least one. Just give me one and I'll be happy. So scratch that. We no longer want um shiny. I mean, I'll still take shinies though. Like if we get a good Pokemon, obviously I'm not going to complain. But we really want legendary. So let's go ahead. Go to coin shop. And we're going to buy a bunch of these crate keys, all right? Wait, nah, these are actually so expensive. I might just spend all of my coins. We're going to start off with however much this is. How much coins do I have left? 6,500. That was uh, not even half. So let's run through these. We have six of them. I'm going to let these spin, okay? All I want to see is a legendary egg. And then we got this egg. I don't know what kind of egg this is, but we're going to have to take it. Next key, a shiny max legendary egg. Is that good? I think that's good, bro. That was only a 2% chance to win. Um, okay. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We're going to keep on opening these. I might not have to spend any more coins if that was a really good pool right there. And we got a 50-50 egg right there. Keep popping these open. I still want to win like the legendary, but one super 50-50 egg. Okay. I don't really know the difference me personally. And then we got a shiny egg and then one more cray key. Let's see how we end this off. Oh. There was a legendary right there and then a shiny egg. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Before we buy any more um, keys, I'm just going to come over here to the incubators at spawn. And we're going to see what we can end up getting. So, boom, you come right over here. We have one of these eggs. These Pokemon will hatch within your trainer level range. However, they tend to level up faster 
than a mere wild Pokemon. Okay, let's go ahead and get this going. I like the sound effects and everything. Takes a little time to process. That's no worries. We got time. We got time. And now we're going to see what we're going to get. I honestly don't know what I want. A Mewtwo, I think it's called. I don't know. Everybody loves that Pokemon. I don't really know what it is. But if we could win that, that would be cool. And okay. Okay. What is that? I don't I don't know what we just won. An executor. I don't I don't know if the okay. He said yikes. Rip. Okay, that was cheeks. It was a big Pokemon. I thought it might be good. <laughs> now we still have two shiny eggs right here. We're gonna pop these open, see if we can get any type of good Pokemon, man. And then a shiny br what is that? Bloom? Bro, what is this, man? I mean, we got this right here, level 49. It doesn't even it don't actually look too bad. Ability, poison, heal, nature, gentle. I mean, I don't like the gentle, but I mean, that doesn't sound too bad, actually. We'll, we'll take that. Then we got one more shiny egg. Come on, man. Give me like a sick looking Pokemon. I still want Mewtwo. I don't even know if I'm saying that name right, but I think that's one of the best Pokemons on the server. So let's go ahead. Let this thing keep rolling. It takes a fat minute. What? is this bro i'm getting pokemon that i don't even know what they are yeah this thing looks absolutely buns so do i have any more oh no we still have a 50 50 egg any pokemon with a 50 percent chance of it being shiny these pokemon will hatch with your trainer level range yeah, yeah yeah we do still have one super 50 50 egg any shiny non-legend pokemon with a 50 percent chance of it being a legendary the legendary has a 50 percent chance of it being a shiny too i'm lost <laughs> i'm confused as to what that means bro but listen I just want one legendary Pokemon in today's episode out of 9,500 coins. We don't get one. I'm going to be salty, bro, because I am usually the most unlucky player ever whenever it comes to Krakey openings. And then a shiny Trico. Don't think that's good either. So we're just going to move on. We're going to do the shiny max four legendary egg first. Um, So you're going to get a very powerful Pokemon. That's all it says. I think the super 50 50 egg is better, though. So let's go ahead and hatch this one first. Oh, my. Wait, this egg looks different. Yo, hold up. This egg's looking a little different from the other ones. It's looking a little good. Praying for some good luck, man. Please, bro. Drop a like on the video right now. Charge me up with some good luck, bro. Literally ASAP. Please. And what... I mean, all of these Pokemon are looking pretty good. Um, what are we going to end up with, though? And a shiny... Oh, my God. Wait, isn't that good? Am I bugging? People are saying GG's. Yo, I saw people talking about this. Oh, my God. PC level 58 ability pressure nature hardy. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm pretty sure this is a very good Pokemon. The speed is 127. Oh my god, yo, this thing's fast as hell. That's the fastest Pokemon I think I have. Oh no, no, no. My Gyarados is speed 155. Okay, finally, a W win, bro. Thank God. And I still have the super 50 50 egg. Still no legendary, but I'm happy with that win right there. What was it called? Like a Moltres? I, I already forgot, but this is the Super 50-50 egg right here. Let's see what we get out of this one. I already see some crazy Pokemons, like, running through the incubator. Oh, this guy said Moltres is okay, not the best, not the worst, but let's see what we... Oh, my... What? I think we got... I think we got scanned. What's a shell gone? Wait! They're saying nice GGs? Are they talking about me? Let's take a look at this one. A shell gone. Type Dragon... Rockhead and the naive doesn't look too good though. So I don't even know if they were talking about me So no legendary egg, which means uh, yeah, we're going back in a coin shop boys. Okay. We're back with some more keys, man Please, please let me get one legendary egg, bro I will literally kill for one and then we got another 50 50. I'm gonna speed open them two 50 50 eggs a shiny egg 50 50 legendary egg. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, bro. That is all I wanted and then another one of those eggs. And then legendary egg. We got two. We got two legendary eggs. No shot. Can we get three? I mean, I'll take three. 50-50. Okay. Two legendary eggs. I'm going to take it, man. Big W's in the comments. We got two of them right here. I'm going to open one right now. And then I'm going to run through all of these other ones. Let's see. Legendary Pokemon right here. Hopefully, we get something good. If we get a Mewtwo legendary, that would be craziness, man. What? Wait, what is this? A legendary egg we got Kyogre or how do you pronounce that? Oh my god. Okay, Royal That's one of the best water type Pokemon I just asked if that was good and apparently it is big W's bro. Let me go into PC and Okay level 43. I still have candies to level this thing up now I'm just gonna run through the shinies and stuff I'll bring you guys back if we win something that looks cool or looks good a shiny Dratini 
Is that good? People are saying GG's, man. It's only level 25, which kind of sucks. That was an L roll on the level, but... Wait, lol, how are you this lucky? Guys, apparently I'm going crazy. I don't know what's good, but I will take that. Okay, so I've ran through a lot of the useless eggs. We'll do one more 50-50, but then I want to go to my next legendary. And look, someone has the Mew. I think you just need to, like, breed it or something to get a Mew to. I don't know how it works yet. Okay, we got a shiny Porygon 2. No clue what that is. We're just going to pop open the legendary. This is our last one. Pray for something good. A legendary Snorlax, I wouldn't even be mad at. You know, that would still be pretty good, I think. But let's see. It's coming down to it. What are we getting, bro? Please. Well, that thing looked massive. And what is this? Can I mount that? Artis... I, I don't know. I don't know. Can I mount it is the question. And no, I can't. But I mean, it's legendary. Level 69? Oh my god, yo. Guys, if you do slash recipe book, you can come over here, search button, mount. There are surf mounts, there's land mounts, and there's fly mounts. Look at this. To get a fly mount, this is all you need, bro. I could just go mining, find like a abandoned mine shaft, right, for a saddle or something, and then two feathers. That actually sounds light work. I might do that in today's episode and then attach this fly mount. To something because i need one i heard they are crazy op all right this is the last 50 50 egg that we have for today's episode i'm not buying any more i'm pretty happy with what we have won before the content can we pull something crazy again that would be sick man come on let's see the answer the answer would be no chancy chauncey i don't know i don't know what that is but it don't look good so listen let's go ahead and exchange some of uh our pokemons out of our like team over here we're gonna keep the gyarados uh whale lord though that can go this can i mean level 51 i mean hold up we might hold on to that the rapid dash can go and we are gonna get this legendary artesino i don't i don't know if that's how you say it how do you even tell if they're legendary bro i don't know but we're also going to take this porygon because it is level 66 we did get a dratini but it is only level 25 so we did get this moltres though i am going to add this for the fire um type and it's level 58 already and then i think those were like all i mean this one's decent too though but currently i think we're gonna rock with this loadout we still have some pretty good pokemon in here that we could use but I just don't know if it's worth using right now. Now, there's multiple things we can do in this episode. Obviously, we can go to gyms. We can fight um, bosses. I'm assuming we can fight bosses now, I hope. I hope we can. Maybe we can't because some of these aren't the highest of levels. And if we just get one shot, then yeah, there's not really anything we could do. But the other thing that we can do is like literally just fight these little Pokemon right here. Boom. And then you just go into a fight and you just, you know, click this. Hopefully, that'll one shot them. Boom. One shots them. And then you just take XP from it. And you can level up your Pokemon that way. But it does seem to be a bit of a slower method. I mean, that was a super low level. Let's try this level 28 right here. Gonna use the flamethrower once again. Boom. And that one shot him. How much XP are we gonna get from that? 1,118. That's actually not bad. Got a level 35 over here. Where you going, my boy? I'm gonna try Sunny Day. I don't... The accuracy is like... What the... The sunlight turned harsh. And... What, did it not do anything? I should have probably read the description of that attack. I'm um, not going to lie. Let me see. What is it? The sun blazes for five turns, powering up fire type moves. Okay. No, that is a strategic play. No, there was no point in using it right there, but that is definitely strategic. Let's try the air slash. I'm just trying to see what they all do. Boom. It one shot him. That was a critical hit. 1700 xp points so i could go around grinding this out and just leveling up all of my pokemon this way but i do kind of want to get that fly mount and to do that i think i'd have to literally go mining and stuff so that's kind of annoying but it might be worth it wait yo oh my god look at the ivs on this moltres it's at 100 percent isn't that like good or am i tripping because look at the rest of them 41 43 58 percent this is literally a hundred percent isn't that crazy? Okay, listen. I am going to spawn my boy in real quick and we're going to we're going to level him up a little bit. Boom, there we go. Going to PV1. Still have all of these rare candies. Okay, hold up. Yo, professor just asked me if I wanted to fight a boss and yeah, I definitely do. Oh, this is a red level boss though. This is a red level. We got our Moltres to level 85, so let me pokey heal. I don't I don't know what level this thing's going to be. 104. Okay, maybe Maybe it's doable, though. Maybe it's doable. We're going to go with this um, sky attack. Hopefully, it actually ends up connecting. Or maybe we get one shot. I don't know. what. I don't know what's going on. Bosses. 
I don't know what the boss just did. Bro, what is happening? What is going on in my chat? I don't know. We hit it. But this dude just did a thousand things in the chat. So I'm low-key kind of scared. We're going to solar beam him. Okay, use fury swipes. And it didn't one-shot. It didn't one-shot my Pokemon. That is good. I got attacked four times. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, yeah, we, we, we lost. Um, It's fine. We still have a Snorlax. Let's run this guy. See what happens. Oh, look. The hammer arm is super effective. Gotta run that. There's no way this thing gets one shot, right? No shot. Um, okay. 38% is a lot of damage, though. And boom. We just got him to 8%. Bro, if we lose this, I am losing my mind. All right. This one, we just need 100% like guaranteed to work. And heavy slam should get it done unless we die right here. But if we do die, we have Gyarados. We have Gyarados. It's it's okay. Well, we'll go ahead and spawn him in. And hopefully, he can get the job done. He's at 8%, man. Please. So this one, 120 power, 100% accuracy. Just go ahead. Get that done for me. And oh my god, it's over. It's literally over. We win. Right? Bang. We have defeated a boss. Common boss loot. I didn't even know this was a thing. We're just going to select the middle three. And let's see what we end up getting. Do you just win Pokeballs from it? That's still good either way, but let's see. I click the three middles, and... Oh, no. Oh, you, so you get a potion, a great ball. We got two great balls and a, and a potion. Okay. I, I take that. I did not know that's how bosses worked. How much XP did I get? 17,000. Only for my Gyarados, though, because I guess he closed it out. But still, that is not bad at all. Oh, my God. Yo, whose base is this? What the hell? This is cool, bro. This is like a little battle gym, I guess. I don't know. Oh, my God. What is going on over here? Bro, Professor's got a ranch going and everything. See, I haven't built my base yet, man. I, this is something I need to get started, but, like, what even is this, bro? Just spawners? I don't know. Shout out to Professor. He let me fight that boss, and his Pokemon look insane as well. All right, guys. So, I just realized, like, I just recorded a full entire clip, bro. And it was a super long clip because I didn't think this video was, like, already pretty long. Like, we're already 17 minutes in, right? So... I'm just going to do another clip because I'm not going to be able to fit that other clip into this video. That is going to go into the next video, if that makes sense. But right now, I am searching for a boss that we can fight. And people actually told me that bosses scale with, like, the highest level Pokemon in your team, which is our Snorlax right now. Oh, and look, we already found one like that, bro. A hit Monly? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what type this is. But we're going to fight it. Um, oh, my God. This thing is level 124. Okay. So, I've now realized to actually read the description of your attacks and not just look at the power and accuracy. So, Hammer Arm, well, you know, it does 100 power, which is really good. The more you use it, the lower speed your Snorlax is. I think we're going to try just high horsepower. That should work pretty... Oh, oh, he struck first. Okay, so people told me that you need high speed and able to get the first strike, right? So, what is my next highest speed? It's my Moltres. So we're going to bring this guy out at speed 185. I don't know if we're going to get the first attack. But guys, I have actually received offers for this Moltres, okay? And look, Sky Attack is super effective, but it's a two-turn attack. Are we going to live for two turns is the question. I think we're just going to try Solar Beam. I might just get one shot anyway. And oh, we didn't. But this one should work, right? This attack, Solar... Oh, this Solar Beam is a two-move attack as well. See, bro, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. That is my fault. But you definitely want Pokemon with high speed then because getting the first attack is actually kind of massive in these. I can't lie to you. We're going to use Thrash because I'm a little confused about this. The user rampages and attacks for two to three turns. It then becomes confused, however. So it's going to attack them for two to three. Um, That's that's fine. We need to just do... We're not going to kill this thing. Let's try. Oh my God, that did like no damage, bro. Nah, that's insane. The Zap Cannon is a very good move, but it has a 50% chance to work at this point. Where it, it won't matter. Okay. I'm going to run it back. I'm going to run it back. Give me a sec. But guys, I said this in like the... I'll, I'll say this again in the next episode because the clip is already recorded for that video. But I do think there is a Pokemon Wiki. Oh my God. 
Wait, the boss despawned. No way, we have to find another one. But I do think there's like a Pokemon wiki that'll show you all of the attacks that you actually want on your Pokemon and all the right abilities and all the right natures and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start looking into that very soon just so I can get the best possible team of Pokemon with like all the best abilities and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how to change abilities yet, but I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be like a Pokemart or something like that. And I do have to get started on my base as well, bro. And at the time I'm recording this, Finster just uploaded. There are 1,700 players on a poke are on pixelmon right now that is absolutely insane so i need to expand my claim as much as possible before the server gets super busy and while i'm at it bro i am just gonna level up the snorlax to level 100 bro because i love this pokemon man this dude is usually a tank i think he just got one shot by that boss but usually that doesn't happen all right so we're gonna get him to level 100 real quick are we gonna be able to learn a new move no he just he just gets to level 100 that is our first maxed out pokemon bro that is not bad. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, I did receive a trade request for this pink Moltres right here. It's a shiny, so the dude just really wants it. And he has some legendary Pokemon he's willing to give up for it. So maybe in the next episode, I do a trade. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys what he's offering in the trades in order to acquire this Moltres. And you guys let me know what I should do because he will offer two legendary Pokemon. And what the hell is this, bro? This base actually looks insane. Oh, bro, while looking for another boss, I just found a Lairon, I think. A Lairon? I don't know, but I did like the check spawns. Oh, it's okay. Does it? What? What? No way, bro. My man's just despawned. Wait, I actually, I just got finessed. I just got finessed, bro. Well, that was the first time that happened, but that was literally a 0.05% chance to spawn. I'm, I'm low-key kind of salt. He was like level 60 or something, right? Bro. And guys, I just TP'd to not Connor, and apparently he has a boss farm going. So, yeah, we're going to chill here, see if we can find another boss. Oh, there's one literally right there. Boom. Did I get it? Did I get the right one? Is this the boss is the question. We have Snorlax right now. This is level 100. Oh, Boss Flipper level 115. All right. Let's see what we can do against this. We're pretty even levels. Oh, my God. We just almost completely one-shot that man. Okay. Just use it again. Straight up. If it's that easy. Um. Oh, wait. Snorlax was recharging. Oh, is that because this move? Oh, the user must rest on next turn. Okay, that's fine. The Polipper is literally not attacking. It healed. Oh, you sweat ball. Okay, well, we're going to trade out the Pokemon since it can't even attack this time. And guys, I just fought a boss Pokemon off camera here at this warp. And I didn't record it because my recording was paused and I never unpaused it. But I did win something extremely good, I believe. We're going to use Sky Attack. This is a two-turn move. But this Polipper, like, they just don't attack you for some reason. All they do is use defensive upgrades. And that is it. Oh, my God. It healed again, though, bro. This one's actually being a lot more tough than the last one. I can't lie. We're going to use Hyper Beam on him. Okay. I'm going to have to rest on the next turn. But that's fine because I'm just going to pull back out the Snorlax. This boss is being hella difficult. Whoa. I did no damage. I did no damage. This thing is literally just spam healing, bro. We're not serious, man. Bro, we healed again. What am I supposed to do? I don't I don't know. Look, their defense can't go any higher, man. This is annoying, bro. Okay, I'm done fighting this thing, bro. It just spams spam heals. Like I literally can't kill it. I can't. It, all it does is spam heal spam heal bro but guys i did fight a boss off camera it, i thought it was on camera but it wasn't and what we got from the boss loot was literally a land mount i think uh these great balls and then some rare candies or something right but this land mount you may equip this item to any land dwelling pokemon by right clicking it in your hand and selecting the desired pokemon that is insanely good i think right i i don't mind a land mount but i did ask should i put it on a pokemon with a high speed or does it not matter? Like, could I throw it on Snorlax with only 66 speed? Oh, thank God. Okay, we found another Polipper, bro. We'll see how this goes, okay? I'm going to switch out the Pokemon. I'm going to bring out the Snorlax before this dude gets his defense maxed out, bro. Okay, 50% of his health is gone from Giga Impact, bro. Please, we're going to switch this out. Bring out the Moltres because he has to rest a turn right there, right? We're going to use Sky Attack. Hopefully, this works. It's a two-turn attack, though. Oh, maybe that was bad because he just keeps up in his defense, bro. This is insane. And we got him down to 34, 34%. All right. 
I'm gonna throw the Snorlax back in and hopefully we can finish this guy off. Giga Impact, once again, please get him gone, bro. At least this Polypper is not spam healing. Eh, it missed. No shot, bro. Okay, this should be the one to take out this freaking Polypper. Thank God, bro. Okay, now I can roll this again on episode. Again, I already beat one. We got this land mount. Let's see what else we can get from the boss loot. Legendary boss loot. And we got Ultra Loot, Great Loot, and then Pokey Loot. Pokey Loot's still gonna be the worst. Great Loot. And then Ultra Loot. Oh, we got... We got ripped on that, guys. I'm not gonna lie, man. That is tough. Okay, but that's a great home to have whenever I want to fight bosses, bro. Extremely helpful. Shout out to Connor. Now, guys, let me show you the trade offer that I got for my pink Moltres right here. The shiny, all right? So, guys, we are in the Discord DMs. And look what he said. Those are my legendaries for trade. He will give me two of these. At least he said, right? He said I could take any two of these. Wait, is that? I don't know if that's Mewtwo, bro. Like, I can't tell anything. So, you guys let me know. Which two should I trade him for the Moltres, if any? And then down here, he said those are Pokemon slash Shinies that he doesn't really care about. So if there's any good Pokemons that I should trade for in this one, let me know. Or should I just keep my Moltres? I have no clue. You guys are going to know better than me. All right. But two legendaries for one legendary? Like, I feel like that's kind of worth it. He offered me a Latios and like Latiana or something, bro. But he's willing to trade any of these. But yeah, let me know. That is going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Pixelmon. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure you guys drop a like. Sub if you guys are new. Come check out the server, obviously, with royal.mchub.com. And I will see you guys in the next episode.